Hey everyone, welcome back to stage to uh, Pennsylvania Bloodlines. And today we're going to stage four, the munitions factory, Germany. Now if you remember this game takes place during World War One, so the Germans are I guess I guess they use uh, skeletons in the munitions factories. Anyway, this song is called Iron Blue Intention. It's a personal favorite of mine from Castlevania, and there are a lot of good tracks in Castlevania. Like, you know, uh, you know, Vampire Killer, Simon Steed, Bloody Tears. I think this stands up with those. They use this Eric's theme a lot. Anyway. Look at those, uh... What the? Okay, I guess they can just pop out of the ground here. Really got a big skeleton problem down in Germany. Popping out of the ground over there. Oh, no, they're heads. You have to kill them twice. Okay. Now, this level is confusing, and it took me like 20 minutes to figure out where to go. Let's see if I can remember how the hell you're supposed to do it. Oh, shoot. Mm. Bottom meat. Castlevania's protagonists only enjoy meat if it comes directly from a wall. Can't be sanitary. Okay. I remember there's a life over here. Yeah, there we go. Down the stairs we go now. Please be an axe. Boomerang's okay too. I think it's interesting that they chose the boomerang and not the cross. Let's through this door. Ah, oh, slow ass cutscene. Max. Oh, that was bullshit. Gets flaming lance. Oh boy. Aw oh, shit! Okay. Well, hopefully we can get that one up again and this won't be a complete waste. Cause that means then I can do this forever. Now welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Bloodlines, part 368. This time I'll beat it for sure. Yeah, no. <sighs> That's a tricky jump. That I can't seem to make. I like how the meat's gone, but the life is still there. This asshole again. So now we have to watch the slow ass opening door cutscene again. I like how he still attacks even if he loses his short sword during the animation. Gotcha. 
In Germany, we like to make pistons that don't do anything. It's very helpful to our war effort. No wonder they lose. You have a whip sword and like Ivy Valentine shit going on here. Ah, oh. that was so weird that I couldn't hit him. We haven't made it to the mid boss yet. Which of course makes me feel wonderful, I mean. Was is there a mid boss in the fall? I don't wanna die. Die one hit? I always thought it laughable when you kill a ghost. You're like, isn't the ghost already dead? Double kill him. Make him extra dead. Oh, okay. Make the creature a mid-boss? Sure, why not? Okay, this might be one of the few Castlevania games where, where he actually, where the creature is actually around after Frankenstein. Not before. Oh, I died! Look at how much health he has! God dang it! Freaking ghosts! Okay. What is that? Like a whip? What? Screw you. I win. I thought this was a background object the first time I played this level, and I died because of it. But no, that is a blade, and it will kill your ass if you ignore it. What are those, like, motor scarabs? Like... Okay. Now 
this one requires tons of patience. First, we gotta kill this thing. No, wait, it's this one that requires tons of patience. Okay. Soldiers. Another one? Holy freaking crap! Oh. That was close, Jesus. I just get the <sighs> This boss is annoying. And I don't have a good weapon to fight him. I have the shitty ass holy water. I'll continue, damn it. Oh, never mind. We just start right back here. I guess we'll grab the holy water. Okay. See, the boss isn't hard, but I always get here with so little life because of the section with all the flail-wielding skeletons.
Well, uh, stage four. So, hopefully you'll join me for stage five, which is the hardest stage in the game. Yes, not the last stage. No, stage five is the hardest stage in the game. So until then, thank you.